Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. In today's video, we're going to see what happens if we use a compressor to put too much air in some sports balls and a Stretch Armstrong. A lot of sports balls are filled with air, like this soccer ball, this football, and uh, this fitness ball. These are toys that are not specifically for any sport that I know of, but they are also supposed to be filled with air. And we have a Stretch Armstrong, which is not supposed to be filled with air, but we're gonna do what we want. Along with that, we have a compressor that says it can go up to 100 PSI. And today we're going to see what happens if we just overfill all of these things, hopefully until the point where they rupture. Here's the basic idea. We've got an air compressor designed for inflating sports equipment and tires. It goes up to 100 PSI, which is probably way too much for the stuff we're going to try to inflate today. I do think there's a chance this is going to be loud, and even if things like pop a seam instead of exploding, uh, the compressor is just a very droning kind of loud noise, so I am going to be wearing some earplugs today. So as you can see, we have what Americans call a soccer ball. Most of the rest of the world calls a football. We then have an American football. I don't know what the rest of the world calls it, probably a weird hand egg. Then we've got one of these workout balls that are also really fun for just playing around with. And we've got some of these weird little spiky, brightly colorful ones. We're gonna try inflating all of those. All right, so I've got the soccer ball. I'm actually going to deflate the soccer ball by just putting the needle in and there's no air being added. So it's just going to slowly deflate. All right, while that's deflating, I'm gonna see if I can find Callie and get her help with some. Callie? Callie? Oh, of course, in the cupboard under the stairs. Uh, let me guess, you're playing Raid again? Yes. Guys, you've heard us talk about this a lot. You already know this by now, but let me tell you why in terms of gameplay, this is the deepest and most complex mobile game around. With 500 champions to collect, each with their own skill trees and millions of artifacts to find and equip, no two champions will ever be the same. This makes for literally trillions of ways for you to build your team's crazy in-depth and endless strategies to figure out. Probably one of my favorite things about this is how many champions you can collect. There are literally hundreds of them which can be used to build a powerful team. The collecting aspect is particularly interesting because the champions are assigned to different factions. My favorite faction are the orcs and it's been fun trying to collect as many of them as I can. If there are champions you don't like, you can actually sacrifice them to upgrade your current team, the guys you, you know, want to stick with. It's really mean. Raid is also a great game because the developers are constantly making updates and adding new features. Over the last few weeks, they have made tons of upgrades like champion fragments, which allow you to collect different pieces of champions that you can use to summon specific champions with special events running all the time. There's also a new bazaar where you can load up on high value items with the gold bars you win in Tag Arena. And they just extended the daily login rewards up to 270 days with free champions available just for logging in. So if you haven't started playing yet, now is a great time to jump in. New players who download the game today will also get 50,000 silver, 50 gems, one energy refill, one clan boss key, five mystery shards, one day XP booster, and one free epic champion, Shaman. These rewards are only available for 30 days, so make sure you download and claim your prize quickly. You can claim your prize by heading to your inventory here. So hop on down to the description so you can claim your new player rewards and start playing today. So did you want to join, help blowing things up here? No, I really don't like loud noises. All right, well, you can just stay here and keep playing your little soundproof cupboard. There we go. Pretty well deflated soccer slash football. Now we're gonna see how long it takes to reinflate with our compressor here. Inflated soccer ball, it does have a scale, like a needle on it, PSI is in red. It's designed for higher pressure, so it doesn't have marked off six and eight, but we're just gonna try and guess approximately when it gets there. <laughs> As you can see, it wasn't instant. It didn't just fill to being full immediately, but it didn't take too long. 
And uh, so we, we do actually have a warning on this thing that you're not supposed to let it run for more than half an hour continuously. I assume it's getting too hot and I don't know how long you're supposed to let it cool down in between those. Hopefully we get most of our results faster than that so we don't have to worry too much about letting our compressor cool down for a while before we continue to use it. But I like that, it inflated the ball. And so now I think it's time to see what happens if we over inflate some stuff. And I think we're gonna start with one of these brightly colored little odd toys. Oh, that smells like fun rubber chemicals. See how long it takes to inflate this. Oh, that changes shape much faster than the soccer ball. And now we're up to a sort of normal inflation, bouncy a bit, bouncy amount. And I think it's time to just let this go. Let's blow it up. All right, here goes. So that took approximately 37 seconds to inflate this ball to the point where it hit a uh, critical mass, critical volume, and tore itself open. We did capture that on slow-mo, and I wanna see what that looks like. If we caught anything of it, that's kind of the question. Not long ago, we did a video where we filmed balloons popping in slow motion, and we had to film at really high frame rates to capture it, like 30,000 frames a second. Uh, this, these cameras only go to about 1,000 frames a second, so I'm guessing it's gonna be really quick. There it goes. Shreds open, there goes that one. I like that you're able to see just a little bit of like a cloud and I don't know if that was pressurized air, which often visible, or if it was something else, you know, dust on the inside of the ball. But that was pretty fun. So 37 seconds, we had blown it up uh, just a little bit. So it's probably more like 39 seconds. Let's try one more time. This time I'll just choose a time when I've decided like, yeah, that's fine. All right, so that's probably good for now. This is at like 10 PSI. That's not squishy. Like it's, it feels just solid and I'm kind of afraid of it because I think it will just burst. Hey! <laughs> it launched, it didn't tear itself open. It just launched itself that way. Our soccer ball. So this, whew, those ones were loud. This, I'm a little worried about how loud it's gonna be honestly because it's, held together a lot more. So this might sound a little much, but we're gonna try it anyway. All right, here goes. All right, that took about a minute and a half, which is cool. Uh, this is fun to see the torn open, like shredded open, guts of a soccer ball here. The rubber bladder, which actually holds the air, and then the exterior, which holds the rubber bladder in place. That blew up quite nicely. And I wanna check some footage. I wanna see if we got the slow-mo. I wanna see on the GoPro how high of a PSI this got up to. What's the maximum pressure that this soccer ball can take? According to that, at about 40 PSI, we overcame what the ball could handle and it exploded open. That was neat. I really like seeing that. Like. It's something that you always assume we can really do, but I haven't ever seen it happen. And it is cool that like, for the most part, it tore stitches open. You can just see like it, it ripped open at stitch line, stitch line, stitch line, stitch line, stitch line. We do have this one spot where it actually started to tear open the material itself. Innards of the soccer ball. Now I wanna do the football. This says to inflate to seven to nine pounds. This is not a full size football, this is a like a kid size football, but it's easier to grab. I'm not great at throwing a football anyway, so. Um, yeah, let's see how long this football lasts and what happens when it decides to explode. Well, this one just tore the bladder right out on its own. I didn't have to do that. Nice little blimp shape here. That went faster, makes some sense. It's a little bit smaller by volume. This one went at about one minute and five seconds. Kind of cool to see all of the layers. We've got like this canvas layer with a rubber backing to it. I don't know, this is like a foam, a rubbery foam layer. And then we've got a cloth with like a synthetic leather layer on the outside here. 
Let's check uh, if this got to a higher PSI than the soccer ball. All right, now this looks like it got up to, not like a lot higher, but I think it got to about 45 PSI. So higher than the soccer ball, got there faster, smaller volume, remember, uh, but 40 for the soccer, 45 for the football. Pretty cool. All right, now we have an exercise ball, which these are large, which is kind of what's fun about them uh, if you're using them for playing instead of exercise. Oh, which I expect means it's going to take a lot longer to blow up. It actually comes with a pump, which we'll start with this because I think this is going to be a higher volume, lower pressure pump. And we'll see just how long it takes for me to blow this thing up. I don't think it's going to be very quick. Okay, we've got our ball inflated to approximately the normal amount to inflate them. These are fun. You can sit on them, exercise, bounce around, kick them. A lot of fun things to do with them. But of course, this is at a regular inflation level, and we're not trying for a regular inflation level, we're trying for an absurd inflation level. So, we're going to plug it back in, turn on the compressor, and see how long it takes this ball to get to an unhealthy size. The ball is looking nice and round now. That ball is big. All right, it took 22 minutes, and that was starting when the ball was already mostly full. So we had the full normal pressure use sitting ball kind of thing, and then we let it run. It took 22 minutes, obviously way more volume and a much stretchier material. Oh, look at that. So that split pretty nicely in half, honestly. And I was a ways away just watching it, and I would look over and I could see it like, it started about that high, and then I saw it past this height, and then I saw it past this height, and I saw it past this height, and I was like, well, it's growing. It may not be super quick, but it is growing. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Boom. All right, well, we do have uh, one more thing we wanna try inflating, and that is our Stretch Armstrong. He does not come with a nozzle, so we're just going to kind of stab through into his gut and see what happens to him as we add way too much air. Oh, boy. Stretch is uh, stretching in a whole new way. I don't think it's going to last very long, frankly. I'm going to guess it's going to tear from where the needle is in the skin. This is much more than I thought it would get to. I did not think he would get this size. Oh my gosh, it's so much more than I thought it was going to do. Ah! Well, our Stretch Armstrong seems to have a fail-safe in that the, uh, the glue around his neck gave out and it just started leaking out. Um, but we want to see him pop, so I'm just gonna stab, well, I don't even know if he'll pop. I, my guess is that like, it's, it looks huge, but like it's still got a lot of squish and flex to it and stretch. So I don't actually think we've, we've reached the maximum, but I do want to, I'm gonna hit it with a knife and see if it does pop or if it just oozes out, you know, if more air just comes out of that spot. So I am gonna try that, three. Two, one. Well, rapid deflation. I mean, it tore open. So Stretch Armstrong, we have not actually yet found the limit to which a Stretch Armstrong can be inflated. Maybe someday we'll try again. We'll find a better way to seal up the attachment around his head, because I do think it was glued. Maybe it was just like pressure fit, but we overcame whatever was holding it in place. And you know, maybe someday we can just entirely remove the head seal up the neck better, and maybe even find a different way. Just find what really is the maximum capacity of a Stretch Armstrong, because that got big, but I don't think we got to the full capacity, because it didn't really pop at all. So, is there anything else you'd like to see us test with our compressor? Anything else you want to see what the maximum pressure it can hold is? Love to hear from you. Thanks again to our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Click the link in the description to get started playing today. Guys, that's it for today, but we've always got new cool stuff coming out. If you hit that button, you'll be subscribed so you never miss a great video. Thanks again for watching, we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.